Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e classroom. Today we are going to discuss two questions basically and I'll give one question as the homework for you. Yeah, two questions from ratio proportions chapter. This is in continuation with the previous uh, video I have posted on YouTube probably I think yesterday or day before yesterday. Okay, right. Two questions. First make a note of these questions or take simple screenshot and try to do it by yourself. This is the first question. Okay, and the second question. This is the second. Make a note of that and try to do it by yourself. And by the way, students, these two questions are from uh, PYQs only, previous year questions only. These two had been asked in SSC CGL examination. As it is, I have taken this one. I have not even changed even comma also, punctuation also. Okay, right. Let's go for this one. Read the question properly first. You know the strategy, right? First, make the problem into two parts, information and question. All right. What they have given, if 50 less had applied, and 25 less selected, the ratio of selected to unselected, very important one, ratio of uh, selected to unselected would have been 9 is to 4. Then how many candidates had applied if the ratio of selected to unselected was originally 2 is to 1. Okay, a good question students, but a very simple one. If you understand the question properly, actually this question can be done within a maximum of 5 seconds. No need to write anything on the paper. I will tell you that technique also. But before going for that technique, let us go with the uh, conventional way. After that, I will explain you the shortcut. But before that students, what information they have given here from the given two or three sentences, we must understand in this way, there were certain number of candidates. Okay, we don't know that number. In fact, we need to find out that one. Certain number of candidates, the ratio was this one initially. 2 is to 1 ratio. What is this ratio? Selected to unselected means total number. Different from the total number, this is the total number. Only two parts are there. One is selected, other one is not selected, unselected. Okay, so the ratio 2 is to 1. Then what happened? One imagination here. What is that one? If 50 let less had applied, that means from the total, from this total, minus 50. 50 less had applied and 25 less had been selected. This is selected from this one, minus 25. Okay? 25 less had been selected. Then the ratio would have been 9 is to 4. It is not happened. It, it would have been in that way. Now you got the idea. Now I need to find out uh, what is this total. All right. Before going for all the method students, how can you solve this question within five seconds? You tell me anybody just, 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 just says yes. from the students who are watching this video. Can't you do this question without writing anything on the paper? Of course. Yes. How you tell me with the help of the options. With the help of the options, you can do the question within 5 seconds, but there are some limitations for that method. That's the reason why. First, let me explain this one with 5 second shortcut. After that, we go for the regular method. Okay, what the shortcut you tell me students? By this time, some of the, uh, some of the students must have understood that one. Very simple. What is there in this one? Now, they want us to find out the total number. Okay. In that one, only two categories are there. What is that one? Selected to unselected. That ratio is this one. Isn't it? Listen very carefully. Selected to unselected ratio 2 is to 1. I need to find out this total number of candidates. Very simple. The figure, the number should be in that way. Here the number should be in that way. That number must be divided by 2 plus 1, 3. Isn't it? Because this is being divided into two parts. What is that one? Ratio 2. 2 is to 1 ratio. That means this number must be divisible by 2 plus 1, 3. Isn't it? Suppose it is 4 is to 5. This number must be divisible by 4 plus 5, 9. Only then ratio is possible. Isn't it? Now, you just search the options here. Among the given options, which number is exactly divisible by 3? Of course, 3 divisibility rule, you know that one. You need to add up the digits and the sum should be divisible by 3. I have explained that one in the divisibility rules. Alright, here it is 5 plus 2. 
this is 7 plus 1 8 8 is not divisible by 3 this is not my answer now here if you go for the 2 and 5 plus 2 7 this is not my answer here you see 3 plus 7 10 plus 5 yes 15 15 is divisible that should be my answer now here 5 plus 0 plus 0 no this is not my answer so within seconds numbers figures have not changed i have taken as it is from the previous ssc cgl if you had written that examination you would have done the question in this way within five seconds isn't it now my option is this one third option is the right one because that number should be divisible by 2 plus 1 3 but students we cannot expect this type of figures every time sometimes there may be another number also this is 250 instead of 250 suppose it is 252 then what happens this is also divisible by 3 as well as this number also divisible by 3 you cannot go for that one in that case you need to go for the procedure what if they give none of these options if none of the above op option is there again you need to go with the procedure but students this shortcut five second shortcut is very important first to apply this one see in that examination these are the figures if you simply apply that one you will get the answer isn't it very easily you can get the answer is suppose suppose if they give only these this type of options you are lucky enough within five seconds you can complete the question okay but it the, it has some limitations as i told you every time you can it cannot expect this type of things there may be another number as i told you just now may be divisible by three or none of these options then you need to go by the procedure okay right let's go for this one students i'll explain you with the same shortcut what we have discussed in the fundamental course foundation course or the regular course okay can you recollect that one if any of our students is watching the video you can recollect easily first let me explain the shortcut developed by us after that of course i'll explain the same question with the help of algebra algebra method is for you pure mathematical method is for you but the method which i'm going to explain now is for the examiner you have to adopt that one okay now i'll tell you the technique here simple students very very simple first for all questions of this type all questions of this type you take this ratio total to selected ratio you take listen very carefully simple shortcut this is applicable for all the questions of this sort okay total to selected you take what is the total to selected initially initially it was 2 is to 1 that means two parts selected this is not selected or unselected okay now total is 2 plus 1 3 total is 3 is to listen very carefully now selected candidates selected candidates means 2 that's it okay i repeat this point total to selected you take this is applicable for all the questions of this short uh, this this sort uh, simple shortcut all right now you see now you see this is 3 is to 2 what is that total to selected now you go for this ratio this ratio it would have been it is not happened if 50 less has applied and 25 less had been selected the ratio of selected to the same thing selected to unselected would have been 9 is to 4 now here also you take same thing total to selected total is 9 plus 4 that is 13 is to selected is 9 I hope this is clear up to this extent the original ratio and the hypothetical one that ratio we are taking here now according to the shortcut in the foundation course I explained you clearly how this shortcut works very lengthy explanation is there I am not going to give that explanation directly what you need to do just multiply these two and multiply these two simple now here it is 9 3 is a 27 i am keeping the 27 here okay i am just keeping the 27 here this is 20 i am sorry okay all right all right ah now you take 27 here okay now here 13 2 is 26 now you take the difference between these two i told you in the shortcut right now the difference is one make a note of this difference is one got the idea this is the original ratio that you have taken total to selected now this is after that it would have been in this ratio total to selected 
नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉट इज दैट वन इफ फिफ्टी लेस हैड अप्लाइड नाउ दिस इज द टोटल सो नाउ हियर इट इज माइनस फिफ्टी फिफ्टी लेस हैड अप्लाइड देन देन हियर ट्वेंटी फाइव लेस गॉट सेलेक्टेड दिस इज माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव then the ratio would have been 9 is to 4 already i have taken this one in the other form that is total to selected now again go for the cross multiplication you know this one these two and these two okay if you go for the cross multiplication this is 450 both are minus you ignore this one take it out now it is 13 into 25 25 13 times 25 10 times 250 and this is 3 times 75 325 now it is 325 got the clarity now as it is again take the difference here you know this method right again take the difference If both are minus this is minus and this is minus now you take the difference one is minus one is plus how to do we'll discuss later okay now you see if you go for the difference it is 75 plus this is 100 and this is 25 125 is the difference shall i write here the difference i am writing here 125 simple now form one unitary method simple unitary method what's the unity unitary method here this one part can be equalized to 125 because the uh, we have, we have taken in a systematic pro process if anybody wants this explanation in the foundation course i have explained you for almost 15 20 minutes i have explained why we have to take in this way all right now you go for this one here one part is equal to 125 All right. Now, what they are asking here? Then, 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 then. How many candidates had applied? Total they are asking for. Total is uh, this one. Three, three parts. Now, three parts is how much? How simple this one, students? Three parts. How much means this is three hundred and twenty-five, three seventy-five. My answer is three seventy-five. Simple. Now you got the same answer. Then three seventy-five is the right one. i hope this is clear for all of you yes or no right how simply we have done this one actually this question if you can get the option here directly by applying the divisibility rule and if you go with the options if you get only one option you are lucky enough within 5 seconds you can answer the question that's it by the way this is the previous question i have not changed any options in that examination had you applied for that one had you written exa that examination you would have definitely done in this way provided you know the shortcut okay but most of the cases are some cases we may not get this type of convenient options in that way this is the shortcut quickly i go for this one first you take total to selected you take all right so to 2 is to 1 means that is 3 is to 2 after that the given ratio again total to selected go for the cross multiplication and this one part equal to the final result then they are asking for the total that means three parts is how much you can answer anything suppose if they want this part yes you can go for this part or this part now they ask for the original candidate means total in fact in the beginning how many have applied before the manipulation so simply my answer is 375 hope this is clear for all of you this is the shortcut you have to learn this type of shortcuts okay suppose if you want to go with the algebra then algebraic method is not required of course here just for your idea i'll tell you but otherwise why to waste the time just leave it if, if algebra is there how to go for this one again the same thing you have to take this one half the total is a three here and the selected is 2x suppose if you take this one as 3x this is 2x and x then you need to go for the simplification instead of going for this one i think it is easier for you now, now you take second question students this question must be done by you just make a note of that take the screenshot and try to do it by yourself okay right same same question everything is same even this question is also taken from the previous ssc cgl examination okay right. just wording i have changed because this should be exactly uh, in match with the previous question okay right what they have given if 1200 if 1200 1200 less had applied and 800 less selected then the ratio of selected to unselected same thing selected to unselected would have been 1 is to 1 how many candidates had applied if the ratio of selected to unselected was 19 is to 17 this is the base actually okay then how to start the question students simple first what you need to do go with the 5 second shortcut 
if you are able to find the answer with that five second shortcut that's well and good you are lucky enough in the examination if the app options are not matching with that of course you need to do the remaining process okay five second shortcut what's that one first 19 and 17 this is the total number divided only uh, like uh, two parts the ratio is 19 is to 17 means this total when they are asking this figure must be divisible by some of these two only then ratio will exist right so now 19 plus 17 means 20 plus 16 36 now this number must be divisible by 36 okay now go for the options very quickly out of the given options only second option is divisible by 36 so my answer is option number two is the right one isn't it but what if the options are not in this way very articulated way they have given of course most of the cases they are giving in this way only so if it is not there then you need to go by the procedure that too i am not following the pure math mathematical way i am not uh, like uh, explaining with algebra we are going with the same shortcut which we have learnt in our fundamental course okay now just go for this one very quickly same thing students now i am going for total to selected so what's total to selected this is the original one 19 plus 17 that is in the speed maths i told you now this 20 plus 16 36 uh, total is 36 is to selected 17 enough 36 is to 17 next word is that one you need to take this one also it would have been 1 is to 1 again total to selected total is 1 plus 1 2 and selected is 1 all right now go for the cross multiplication this is the way you have to do in this way so this is 36 and this is uh, this i'm sorry selected i have to take don't do this mistake you shouldn't do this mistake i have taken this is unselected no i have to take selected selected is 19 i'm so sorry i'm very sorry yeah this is 19 okay now total to selected you have to take anyway so here this is 19 to 38 this is 36 38 minus 36 the difference is 2 i am taking 2 here difference now we got the idea so actually total to selected i have to take here i have taken by mistake unselected don't take in that way selected 19 so this is 36 is to 19 then quickly you go for this one that is 2 is to 1 that i have taken correctly go for the cross multiplication the difference is 2 now what's the next thing students go for the change manipulation what they have given here if 1200 less had been applied minus 1200 okay next uh, next 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 here 800 less had selected minus 800 both are minus both are minus now simply go for again the cross multiplication uh, shall i write 1200 here 1200 here 800 here same thing the cross multiplication here if you go for this one this is 1600 and this is 1200 all right now the difference here is 400 is the difference that's all 400 is the difference now you have to equalize both the difference here that is two parts is equal to 400 and what question they have asked how many candidates had applied that means total they are asking total is 36 when two parts are 400 obviously one part is equal to 236 parts how much means 36 into 200 my answer is 7200 this is the way students you have to do the question in this way okay i hope this is clear for all of you then you must get one doubt here what is that one sir what if we get plus value here instead of this one suppose if the question is like this if 1200 less had applied and 800 more are selected 800 more are selected then the question remains same if that is the case in that case if one value minus one value plus what we need to do now i'm leaving that one to you only you try to do that one you just change the figures or whatever it may be take another question what if it is changed you try to use the same shortcut and try to use your own intelligence to find out the trick for that one anyway i'm going to explain the trick in the next session next session mostly i'm going to give uh, the next session tomorrow only so tomorrow i'll explain you with the help of another question which uh, is also from the previous papers previous ssc papers tomorrow i'm going to explain but till then the homework for you is what if one is minus one is plus the trick how to alter the trick you try to 
find out that one thank you so much students